cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. Hi, I'm Kachang Kevin. Today we continue our series of reflections on the seven deadly sins with lust. The Catechism of the Catholic Church says in paragraph 2351, Lust is the disordered desire for or inordinate enjoyment of sexual pleasure. Sexual pleasure is morally disordered when sought for itself, isolated from its procreative and unitive purposes. The only sex worthy of men and women made in God's image is sex that expresses complete and irrevocable self-giving. St. Thomas Aquinas says, The sin of lust is of voluptuous emotions and makes the point that sexual pleasures unloosens the human spirit and set aside right reason. Yes, lust enslaves us to our passions, which can lead to other sins such as adultery, using contraceptives and masturbation. St. Augustine once said, I was bound not with the iron of another's chains, but with my own iron will. The enemy held my will, and of it he made a chain and bound me. Because my will was perverse, it changed to lust, and lust yielded to become habit, and habit, not resisted, became necessity. The virtue that helps us fight lust is chastity. The CCC says in paragraph 2339, Chastity includes an apprenticeship in self-mastery, which is training in human freedom. The alternative is clear. Either man governs his passions and finds peace, or lets himself be dominated by them and becomes unhappy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, grant me the graces to strengthen my body, spirit and soul in the battle against lust. Guide me in the path of purity and holiness, that I may not be blinded by worldly pleasures, and defend me from forces that tempt me from the truth. Amen. If you would like a recap of the Beatitudes, Virtues and Gifts of the Holy Spirit, visit our YouTube channel, Redeemed for Worship, and subscribe to our free Lenten Nuggets at www.redeemforworship.com. This Lenten Nugget is brought to you by Redeemed for Worship. I will sing to the old rugged cross and exchange it some for a crown. Created using Powtoon.